Perfect. Suck it set up. And it's called full screen. Good, now we're starting to come in. What's up, guys? Okay, let's just get this, uh, let's go to share screen. Share screen. Let's go to share screen. Okay, baby doll. Okay, babe. Share. Perfect. All right, cool. Hey, guys, we'll let everybody start jumping in here. We'll get jammed out. Let's see. Got that. Let's get attendance. Um, where's chat? Kiss the pens. Hmm. Oh, that's that. Oh, more chat. Cool, man. Everybody get something to write with. We'll start jamming out, man. We'll do it here in about like uh, five minutes. And um, let's just see here real quick. Make sure you turn on your volume. Yeah, there we go. Damn. And. Wow. Okay, cool. And then what I'm going to do, just, just so everybody knows, I've got this entire slideshow here that I've wrote everything out from A to Z. So literally, like, everybody will have this. And then we'll kind of go through it step by step when we're done. You can take, get yourself a pen, get yourself some paper, stuff like that. Um, but we'll start here in about three minutes and I'll record it once everybody gets in together and we'll start jamming. And that way if somebody misses out on some and they jump in late, um, they're cool. Okay. So anyways, you guys rock and roll, get yourself something to write with. Um, let's see who we got here, man. We got Alex, Anthony, Brad, oh, Brandon Brown. We got Dave, Courtney. Dylan, John Austin, Joshua, Justin Morgan. What up? Kevin and Cassie. Come on, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kyle, Kylie, Kevin, Luke Smith, Paul, Peter, Rick, Shadley, Shania, Shania, Wakas. Man, dude, we're going to jam out. This is going to be freaking awesome, man. So, we're going to start in just a couple of minutes, man. So you guys can grab something like a pen, paper, get something to write with. Remember, all of it's going to be recorded. Um, but, you know, like I said, um, I've got some different stuff that I'm going to give you. Number one, I'm going to help you pick out the card you're going to post. So that's going to be easy. And I'm going to tell you how that's going to work. Um, and then secondly, I'm also going to give you this slideshow that I built for you, which is really cool. Like it's freaking straight up. So no matter what, you can't miss it. And then when we're done, I'm also going to show you an ad that I built that literally we posted all the, uh, earlier that sold like that. So um, that right there, we'll, 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 we'll go over that as well. So if anybody has anything, you're welcome to, to send me a, uh, a chat or you can, let's see, uh, raise your hand. I think um, there's a way that I can allow you to talk and we can rock and roll. But with that being said, you guys just get something to write with, man. And we're gonna jam one. You're gonna jam out. Let's see. Well, we'll say maybe we'll wait about two more minutes and we'll start killing it. So I'm at home tonight, man. Uh, I got Sean Pollard here with me in the background. If you guys haven't met Sean, he, he, yes. he's uh, he's one of the coaches here. He's an animal, man. He's a beast. Great sales guy. Great closer. Great with marketing. Great with people, man. He's been in the business his whole life, so it's amazing. We like being around great-minded people. And um, anyways, it's just fun. It's awesome. I love it. So uh, if a lot of you guys have been here to a master closer seminar and uh, Dylan asks, is it cool if Brooke listens in? The answer is absolutely. Come on, man. I want to give a shout out real quick. Can they come into uh, August, July, or August? Um, Brooke and Dylan? What's that? Brooke and Dylan, are they in July or August? August, August. Brooke and Dylan, I give a shout out to these guys. They're coming in the August uh, seminar, master closer seminar, long story short. Um, Dylan has started running every night a mile and a half. 
And I mean, he's not breaking, man. He's, he's going to do it. He's 22 years old. He's giving it all. My wife just sent me a text message said, um, Ooh, Sean Pollard left the lights on in the conference room. Oh, the TVs. And my wife is uh, sending me pictures of it. She's mad. She said I'm fired. Good job, Sean. Sean just lost his job on the Zoom meeting. Um, good job. My wife's in Phoenix. And uh, we'll start in one more minute, man. We'll get jamming. So just so I can just give, you know, obviously we're saying we're starting at 930, but I know how the car business works. You know what I'm saying? I've been that person at the last minute. I used to have this meeting at, at 7 a.m. every, every uh, Saturday, sales tower. And literally, like, if you were one minute late, our GM used to lock the door. I mean, one, do one second late. And it was on his watch, too. And I think his watch was wrong. And I remember, man, like, just going in. I would hit that door, and he wouldn't be there. And guess what, man? Uh, it, it sucked. You had to go home for the day. I mean, that's it. If you didn't make the meeting, you were gone. And it was at 7 a.m., and it was 7 a.m. on his watch, not the normal watch. My phone said 6.58. No, it was 7 on his watch. That's it. And by the way, you got sent home. And uh, it was pretty crazy, dude. So I know the way the car business is, you know, 930, 931, 932, we're cool. And um, we've had over, and this is what I figured, a lot of guys are getting stuck. Women, women men are getting stuck on late night deals. We had 250 something people sign up. Uh, so I'm letting just a minute go by for everybody to get in. And obviously it's later at night. This is probably gonna take about 45 minutes. For some reason, something crazy goes on and you're like, I have to jump off the Zoom meeting. Cool. Um, Vincent, what's up? I see you. Ian Shepard crushed it, came to the Master Closer Seminar. What's up, dude? Okay, you pick a movie. I, Dad's got to do this real quick. Um, I don't know. But uh, Ian Shepard came to the Master Closer Seminar. Beautiful story. Ian, and by the way, listen, you know, sometimes people don't believe that certain things can happen in their life to them. And Ian was one of the guys that was like, man, you know, I see Andy, I see his training. Okay, I get that, you know, but um, no, Andy, no, not you, Ian, this Ian and uh, Ian Shepard right here. My son's name's Ian, so he's yelling at me. Um, but anyways, he came to the Master Closer Seminar, right? Literally went back into the dealership and just crushed it and sold, I don't know, Ian, what'd you sell? 30 three, 32, 30 something cars, just broke every record. Everybody's 30 and a half right there in Shepard. So 30 and a half, he's coming back next month again. The guy that was a skeptic, which I love it because I, I mean, I'm just going to tell you this. I, I, I spent a lot of money on a seminar when I was 18. I spent 1200 bucks when I was making three grand a month. And um, you know I mean? I, I honestly wondered, you know, what if it doesn't work for me? But then I thought, what if it does? And I showed up and it changed my life. I went back in the store and made $10,000. Best, best thing I ever found out in my life was I'm the investment. So with that being said, hats off to you, Ian Shepard. That's awesome. We'll see you next month, man. Um, yeah, it says usually, you know, he was happy with 12 to 15 cars. He sold 30 and a half. Man, dude, life is great. And by the way, listen, I just want to tell you, um, and let's go ahead and get started here, okay? Um, this is about Craigslist, okay? Um, I want to tell you just a little two-second story of a background about me for a second. You, see, you like my shirt? Don't be scared. You know what I'm saying? Like everything in my life, I'm just like trying to tell myself, like there's another level. I'm trying to tell myself every minute, level up, level up, level up. Um, because I really feel like that that's what we have to do in this life. I feel like we're all, you know, capable of so much and, you know, we just don't play to our full potential. And I refuse to go to the grave without giving it all that I got because I, I, I went some time in my life where I didn't. Okay. And hey, if somebody's saying they can't see anybody, uh, you got to turn your camera on. Okay. By the way, if, if you're, okay, if you're saying you can't see any, but you're only saying you can, uh, you can be the farmer, what I have here is I have a share screen here, okay? So you can blow me up, you can see me right here, um, but I, I want to go over this slideshow, and that's why you see that. So, um, and I'm going to get into what the farmer means, and let's rock and roll. So as I'm looking at the, the chat down here, um, if I see it, cool. If I don't, I'm just looking at, at talking to you guys. Um, I really think that everybody has another level to play to. My favorite part of this business in my entire life, I got in when I was 18 and until all the way through being a GM, all right, I was so ate up with closing negotiation, you know, like becoming the best in the store. I had a nickname. It was Alcatraz because no one could escape. That was my deal. Like I, I wanted to lock everybody down that everybody couldn't lock down. 
Okay. I wanted to make the most money on people that people said you couldn't make money off of. I just wanted, I was the underdog. I wanted to break every record. That was my deal. I want you guys to do the same thing. This is about marketing today. And I was never a marketer. I, I fell into it on accident. And what happened is I was a GM. Me and my wife decided to move to Lake Texoma. Okay. And, and I live in Oklahoma and then Texas is next to me and there's a lake. It's called Lake Texoma. I had a lake house on there. We decided we weren't spending any time together. We wanted to move to Lake, Tex uh, Lake Texoma together. And what happened is we sold our home up here and we we're in a town of like the average income was like $1,400. And I'm used to making, you know, $25,000, $35,000 a month. I mean, minimum. And that wasn't going to happen there. But we didn't think about that part. We just knew we just needed to get away together and we wanted to start a family. And, and I was 28 years old. Okay. And long story short, um, I told my wife that I, we need to drive back to the city and me and her team sold together. She sold, I sold. We sold together. We drove back to Oklahoma City at a store called David Stanley Chevrolet and we team sold for four months together. During those four months that we team sold together, me and her made $50,000 a month selling cars. Anybody that's in Oklahoma knows the records I hit, the, the stuff I broke. I made 700 grand selling cars. Um, and by the way, you can do it in your town. I did it right here in Oklahoma City. I, I just want to share this with you. We decided to quit driving back to the city and we went down to the lake full time. There was a place called Ardmore, Oklahoma. That was the place that you go to use the bathroom when you drive from Oklahoma City to Dallas. Um, it's a small town and I'm not saying Ardmore is a bad place. It's just, it's just nothing's there. And it's a very small town. And I told my, my wife told me actually that you're going to sell cars there. And I remember walking in and the owner says to me, he says, Hey man, you know, my top guy, um, you know, he, he, he makes I uh, I don't know, $6,000 a month. And I'm, uh, my bills are 15,000, right? I mean, I made some mistakes and I, I was over debted a little bit. I needed to pay some stuff off and sell some stuff. And we had the marketing crash in, in 2008. It was right in that time. I needed to just declutter my life. I, I had to make 30 grand a month. I had to. Well, long story short, uh, as I'm sitting there, this owner tells me the top salesman's making, you know, five, six grand. He sells 12 cars a month. The, I said, well, how many cars is the dealership selling? They said 50, 60. I went home. I told my wife, there ain't a chance in hell I, I can sell there. I said, baby, I got to drive to Dallas. That's the only thing I can do. And she says, no, you're going to sell an Ardmore, okay? And we are going to start posting on Craigslist. And guess what? That's how we're having this conversation today. So what happened is, and just so everybody's aware of this, you can be in a small town, big town. I don't care, okay? Craigslist is freaking hot. It was hot then. It's hot now. They have a lot of older people that are on Craigslist that want to buy cars and are ready to buy cars right now. When you get on Facebook, which I love Facebook Marketplace. You guys know I'm deadly with Facebook Marketplace. I love that niche. Facebook Marketplace wasn't around in 2008. Right now, when people test me and say, Andy, Craigslist don't work, I say, bullshit. Guess what? Boom, I grab them. And hey, let me do this real quick. Let me, let me hit record here on this so I can start this sucker now for anybody. Let me see real quick. Hold on, record, record. Okay, uh, stop recording. Oh, good. It already is recording. Boom. Okay, awesome. So I wanted to make sure that this was being recorded so you guys could have this. Um, but long story short, we end up going to work there. Uh, I end up going outside. We got about two ups a day. Well, how, how am I going to make a living on two ups a day? It ain't going to happen. Okay. And by the way, I grew up by the fresh up like that. That was it. That was all I lived for. Well, my wife says, you know what? We're literally going to start posting on Craigslist and we're going to learn how to market this deal. And guess what? We sat down. She started posting for me while I went to work. And all of a sudden, my phone. What's up, bud? How you doing? My phone. Okay. Okay, you talk to her. Okay. I was like, I was like, you know, hello, this is Andy. And you're like, yeah, I was calling about that car I saw on Craigslist. I'm like, what? What? This is cool, man. All of a sudden, ring, 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 ring. It just started freaking blowing up. I called my wife. I said, what the hell did you do? She said, I just started posting. I'm like, well, shit, post more ads. Go crazy. Next thing you know, that next day I sold four cars. The next day, four cars. The next day, four cars. Owner comes up to me, says, what the hell are you doing? 
I said nothing. He says, you still want all the internet leads? What are you doing? <laughs> These guys don't know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on. I'm like a kid in a candy store. So I started to recreate myself and rebuild myself, okay? And I want you to understand this, and this is like straight up. There's no difference between you and me. Nada, okay? I'm just like you guys. I'm freaking human, okay? But the one thing that I am is I'm not a quitter, and I refuse to quit, and I always try to find a way in. So what I ended up doing was making a deal with my wife. You post, by the way, Craigslist was free back then. I'm not asking you to post your whole inventory. My wife would post the whole inventory. That's all we would do is post it. And we would realize some cars would work, some cars wouldn't. But we started to find out what cars specifically would work and work really fast. And that's what I'm going to talk about tonight because Craigslist does cost $5. Okay. They started charging. It still works the same. They're the great quality buyers that are on there. And guess what? I'm going to show you how to work it. And I'm going to show you how that you could sell one car every single day. And I'm going to go over some questions. But how literally I sold 70 cars a month every month in a store that was selling 60 cars. I ended up taking the store to 150, 200 cars a month because when the tide, the tide rises, all ships rise, right? I'm crushing it. These guys start doing better. And that's going to happen in your store too when you start doing better. But I want to tell you, you have to learn how to fish. I want you to be great at everything. Becoming great at negotiating is, is, is everything. Because you know what? If you can't close somebody, what's the purpose of having a customer? You know what I'm saying? If you can't sell somebody, get them to say yes, right? What's the purpose of having a customer? But also, if you can't generate your own lead, right, you're never going to go to that next level. You can't scale, okay, without learning how to fish. And that's what I want to talk about tonight is that how to generate deals off of Craigslist in good deals. And by the way, you may be sitting there right now and you're like, man, you know what, Andy? You know, I've got this $50,000 lifted truck. That truck ain't going to sell on Craigslist. Don't you touch it unless it's a diesel. Okay, so at the end of this, when we're done, what I want everybody to do, Sean, what's your email? Sean at the Elliott Group? Yeah, yeah, listen, I want everybody to write this down real quick, and we'll talk about it again at the end, but it's Sean at the Elliott Group now.com. That's two L's, two T's on Elliott, okay? So Sean, and that's by S H A W N. Let me just type it in here so everybody's got it. Yeah. But I'm just going to type it, and Sean said you guys should have received one. We're going to get into the training now. But here's what I'm going to – I want you to do this. I want you to email me your name, and I want you to – basically, I probably already know it, but I want you to email me your name, your cell phone number in case I have any questions, which probably you put it in when you join the Zoom meeting. Um, but I want you to send me your website address. I'm going to pick the right car for you. I'm going to send it back to you, okay? And then after you post it, I want you to send it back to me, and I'm going to help you critique it. I'm going to one-on-one -on -one everybody here. Okay, and I'm going to dial this in and I appreciate your time and I respect you guys and I'm grateful for you like straight up. And this is just going to be the beginning of us showing you something really cool that a lot of people don't know how to talk about. And they say that Craigslist dead and they're freaking lost. Um, so Sean at the Elliot group. Sorry, guys, I'm just putting this down here. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, so, and, and by the way, Sean at the Elliot Group now .com. Okay. You guys, listen, every day. So, and by the way, and obviously, Ian knows uh, we were just talking about him, Aaron Condi. He came with her to the Master Closer seminar. Aaron hits me up one day, says, Hey, Andy, the Master, uh, the, uh, the Craigslist is dead. I said, Man, what are you talking about? Boom, jump in her inventory, post a car, boom, sells it the next day. Okay. She says, dude, that was wicked, man. I don't even know how that happened. Guess what happened next day? She's like, Hey, can you help me pick out another car? I said, sure. She posted and, and, and she didn't do it the way I did it. She just regular posted it. Okay. And guess what happened? She didn't get any calls. Four days later, she says, Sandy, uh, I didn't get any calls on that, man. I think we just got lucky. So I go back into her ad and I go to what I'm teaching you guys right now. And I fix her ad for her. Put it back out, boom, sells it that night. She says, Andy, what the hell? That's what I'm going to teach you guys now, okay? So let's get into it. Let's kick butt, guys. Let's rock and roll. Let's get into the training. Does anybody have YouTube at home? A few people are emailing me their websites, their dealership, because they can't figure it out. Just tell me, email me their website. We'll help them get the car out. Yeah, everybody's going to email Sean. We're going to pick your – like I said, I want to pick your car out for you. On this first one, I want to pick your car out for you. So this is really important. And by the way, um, you guys all probably have my cell phone number. At the end of this, if you're having trouble or anything like that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump off the screen real quick. 
and I'm going to go to this. You see right here, this is my, my home screen, okay? This is the Elliott Group Now dot com all right on the home page of the elliot group now.com you see this big deal in the middle it says free 20 minute strategy call with the elliot group schedule now you can click on this right here it says schedule now and basically when you click on it it says schedule a meeting which you guys can all see this okay and then click a date and here hold on real quick um it says what if our website shows up and people go our group. Okay, listen, Brandon Brown, if your website to your store has like eight other websites in it, just tell me what your car stock start with on your stock number. Okay. And by the way, if, if, if it's just a random deal, uh, send me a text message. I'll work out a special deal with you. I'll, I'll, I'll pick your car. We'll work it out together. Okay. Um, I want everybody to, you know, have the same feel, but most of us are going to have our own websites. And, and Brad says, what if your website has a whole auto group? Boom. Same deal. Um, do me a favor, send me a text message. I'll get you set up, okay? Hey guys, hey KK. All right, so look, let's do this. You see where it says pick a date here, a strategy call? Okay, babe. Hey, you see where it says strategy call? I wanna show you guys, um, pick up a time, we'll work it out and handle it, me, and we got Sean right here, okay? We'll help you guys work your way through it. So you guys can jump on a strategy call, we'll help you figure it out. Um, and it's free, it don't cost nothing. Just, just let it pick a time, that way we know you're doing it. I'm gonna go over this ad at the end. Um, but let's go over this slide. All right, cool. So, so this is going to be the beginning. Every one of these pieces of paper is going to be a step. Okay. When I'm done, you're going to have this on your email. I'm going to send it to you. Okay. And you can shoot me a text message right here. I'm going to put it, put it in the deal. 918-210-0254. And you can say, Andy, I have this saved on my phone right here. You say, Andy, send me this little, um, deal that you're showing me, right? This, I call it a slideshow. Send me this, boom, I'll pop it over to your cell phone. That shows your post and you can walk through it. So number one, this is how we're going to kill it. Spend one hour a day, every day, becoming the farmer. Okay. Remember I told you guys, my nickname was Alcatraz. Well, guess what? My nickname became the farmer. When I came to the dealership, you say, Andy, what the hell does being the farmer mean? It means this. Okay. I was freaking patient. All right. Imagine this. If you guys right now want to become great and do great things, I know you want it today. I get it. Okay. We're going to take this first ad and we're going to post it and we're going to sell. But let me explain something to you. There's going to be somebody in the group that's going to post a car and they're not going to sell it. I don't know why. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the one buying it, but I know the market. I know how to do it. But for some reason, I don't know why it won't work. And you know what? You'll never do it again. Do you, could you imagine being a farmer right now? Yeah, Dylan, I see you. You know what? You go out, imagine being the farmer. Don't be this guy, okay? We are all farmers. If you want to become the best, you have to be a great farmer. And what that means, and the reason why I call it a farmer, because I have these little analogies. You guys know I have some silly stuff, but I'm just like a real human being. A farmer goes out, he tills the field, right? He puts the labor in, just like you guys go and pick the car and you do all this. And guess what? He plants this seed. And then after he plants the seed, you know what? He waits a day and then he goes back out there with the shovel and he starts digging the seed back up to see if it's done anything. Do you think a damn crop would ever come up from that? No, the guy's self-sabotaging himself. That's why I highlighted here, be patient, okay? What I want you to do is by the time we are done, you're gonna have questions along the way, okay? What's up, Castillo? Listen, you guys are gonna have questions along the way. Wait till the end, please. And I'm going to say, any questions, ask me. And then if it's something big time, we'll just take it to a text message or to a phone call. I'm cool with that. But I want you to be patient, okay? And what I would like everybody to do is, is yes, commit to one car and post that car. But guys, commit to one car every day, every day for one month. And watch how the compound effect starts building and building and building. And guess what? That's how you're going to kill it, man. You've got to be able to sit there and let the seeds that are in your hand, like literally turn into crops. Okay. And that's what you're doing here. I know that you post one car and maybe it doesn't work. It is going to work with this system, but if you're the one in a rare person that it doesn't work with, okay, don't quit. Don't give up on it. Look at your future, man. You're the investment straight up. Like it's you. Okay. So number one, right? Spend an hour every day. And look, and by the way, I said one hour. You know what that meant? I didn't say post a hundred cars. Post one quality ad. Quality crushes quantity all day long. Okay. All right. So number one, be the farmer. 
Number two, post one to two great ads every day, okay? Here's the key. Pick great cars to post, okay? Let's talk about now what great cars look like to post, all right? Now, look, in your area, I'm gonna help you pick your specific vehicle, but let me talk about the overall hot cars that work 24-7, 365, okay? And by the way, I can send you this little slideshow so you have all of this right here so you can scroll back through it as you're going through. Okay, hot vehicles on the market that work 24-7, 365 are always a lifted truck. Look, if you got a 400,000 mile lifted truck, it'll freaking sell on Craigslist. I trade for a 300,000 mile lifted truck for seven grand. I put it on Craigslist for 13.9, gone. Yep, doesn't matter. I trade for a diesel, 500,000 miles. Put it on Craigslist, 19.9, gone. These guys come out of the woodwork, they got that cash. All the farmers, all the older people, and the guys that can get their own money at their bank and all of them, they're all sitting on Craigslist. It's a great place to get real quality buyers, okay? And the cool thing about it is, is that like on Facebook, they hit you with like, is this still available? And you gotta take them off a DM and actually take them to a text. These people automatically contact you through text so you have their cell phone number. It's a very beautiful thing. Um, all right, so number one, lifted trucks. Number, follow me right here. Hot vehicles to sell. And I want you to think about your inventory, and what you trade for on the daily. If you work for a dealership, right, think about this. You work for a dealership, okay? And you're sitting there and your new car department or you're in the new car department trades for a car. If it's one of these, you need to grab it immediately. Go get the freaking keys while the people are in finance and go post it. Dude, I used to post people's cars while they were in the box. And people are like, what? You can't post their car. Just did. It's already up. Sorry, man. I got a guy on the way. You know why? I would take a one pick beam the picture so it looked clean and i put early bird special just dropped tonight old people traded in Boop, man phone call sold that's what i want you guys to do get ahead of everyone and kick the freaking crap out of them okay so number one lifted trucks number two five year old cars with low miles listen this works for everything so what's that mean all right it's 2020 you trade for a 2015 Chevy Malibu with 19,000 miles. That sucker sells tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Nobody wants a Malibu. You find one that's got, that's five years or older with low miles, it's gone. Hey, you know what? I, I, I don't want a Chevy Spark. Guess what? You find a Chevy Spark that's a 2012 model with 12,000 miles or even 30,000 or 40,000 miles, that sucker's gone tomorrow. Unique pieces get grabbed out of Craigslist really fast. Now your goal is to get these cars online yourself before your dealership can get them on the website. And by the way, if your dealership posts on Craigslist already, who cares, man? You're gonna be building so much better ads, it doesn't matter, okay? So four wheel drive trucks, okay, right here, four wheel drive trucks under $25,000. $25,000 is the magic number, okay? I'm telling you, can you go over 25 grand? Absolutely, man. Just, you better, it better be a badass truck, okay? I'm just telling you. How do you guys send me a Craigslist ad earlier? And he's like, hey, um, there's an Acura that I'm posting. And, you know, it's like, it's $40,000. I'm like, dude, nobody wants to buy a small Acura SUV for $40,000 on Craigslist. There's just not one, okay? So, so follow these guidelines here. Four drive trucks under 25 grand, unless it's badass. Um, secondly, diesels. Every single diesel you can get your hands on, post it on Craigslist. But I want to tell you this. When you start getting up into that real expensive category, you better be writing some badass ads, okay? So, yes, bud. Sorry, dude. All right. My son tells me if I ever say cuss words, so my bad. Uh, anyways, vehicles under $10,000. Obviously, that's a no-brainer. I'm just going to tell you this. If 20 people came into your store, probably 15 of them went under 10 grand car, okay? You trade for one, go put it on there. I don't care what it is. I don't care what the miles are. It creates massive leads and you will sell them fast. Okay. And, and, and by the way, let, let me just give you a little bit of an, an analogy here. It, if you own a car for $6,000 and you sell it for 10,000, how much do you make? What's well, real easy. You make four grand. Okay. If you own a car for 30,000 and you sell it for 34, how much do you make? $4,000. How much easier is it to sell a freaking $10,000, $9,000 car and make four grand? You know what I'm saying? Remember, the, the cheaper price point stuff, they make just as much money, okay? 
So you don't have to go to the expensive stuff and don't post the stuff you want to buy. Post the stuff the market's thirsty for. Market's thirsty for lifted trucks, five-year and older cars with low miles. I don't care what kind of car it is. It doesn't matter. Okay, I don't care if it's a yellow five-speed, nowhere. It sells fast. Four-drive trucks to under 25 grand. Under $10,000 vehicles and then anything rare or unique that you could trade for. Like if you traded for a 1994 Celica, right, GT, with freaking 80,000 miles, hey, dude, throw that sucker on there. And by the way, you'll have it sold and the guy will be sitting with a cashier's check buying. Okay? Uh, people say, well, I get scammers on Craigslist. Bro, scammers are everywhere, man. If you're getting, if you're getting caught up on a, a, a scammer, then I'm sorry, man. You, that shit, you got to let that roll downhill. Um, okay, so listen, let's go into the pictures, okay? Here, we talked about what we need to post, right? Now we're going to talk about the pictures. All right, so I want you to ask yourself this question because this is probably – hey, and by the way, to be a great seller, okay, you got to know what it's like to be a buyer, right? What do you think about the last time you bought something? When's the last time you bought something and it had a crappy picture of what you went and bought? Never. Never, okay? You, whatever it is you bought, you envisioned owning it, and then you did what? You went and purchased it, okay? You need to understand this. You have to make beautiful ads that have great pictures that customers can envision that car that you posted sitting in their driveway. Okay, listen to me. That car has to look like it's, it, it's it, hey, you know what, honey? Come look at this. That that is exactly what I'm looking for. You know why? Because these people are looking at pictures and not even reading descriptions in the beginning, just trying to envision that car sitting in their driveway. So you want to go out there and you want to shortcut this sucker? You're a dummy. You're going to walk out there. You're going to get your picture, your camera, and you're going to take a picture of that car in between all the other cars, and you were lazy. You didn't go get the keys. You didn't pull it out and go take some good pictures of it, and guess what happens? You didn't get a call. You didn't sell it. You know why? It looked like a freaking car sitting on a damn car lot that blended in with all the other metal, and there was nothing cool about it. You know what? You know what I did? I got it, pulled it out, put it in a nice background, and then boom, man, that lady's like, gosh, man, that's nice. I can see that sitting in my driveway. And you know what happens? Now they want to own it. Now they'll pick up the phone and hit the old ring ring. You know what? So do your pictures make you want to buy it? Test yourself, man. Don't lie to yourself. Look, you're not here to just put a picture on the internet. That doesn't work. Be an artist. This is an art. This is the art of marketing. Make sure that you have the best pictures out there, please, okay? So, do your pictures make you want to buy the car, yes or no? If the answer is no, don't use those pictures. Get the freaking keys and take it out here. And some of you guys may be like, man, my manager don't let me take cars off the lot to go take pictures. Okay, cool, man. You know what? Listen, maybe your dealership takes great pictures, right? And, and, and you can just copy and paste them. I mean, maybe that could happen. But I'm going to tell you, most dealerships don't, and they shortcut. And, you know, so that's why I take them off the lot because, you know, the dealership isn't great at doing that kind of stuff. Um, all right, let's move to the next one. All right, you can post up to 24 pictures on a Craigslist ad. But remember this, one bad picture will turn a buyer away. You know how many times I've seen a guy send an ad or, or, or a woman send an ad through and every picture is like on point and then all of a sudden they got one freaking picture of like a side of the seat that's like worn out and man that guy is not going to call on that ad okay people are looking for reasons why they need to say all right andy talk me out of wanting to make this phone call oh there it is just talk myself out of it don't give them a reason to talk themselves out of that ad so i want you to look at your ads and hey and by the way so you can understand this if i this, and this is my goal in life. I don't want anybody to take a bite out of my business, all right? I want to be so freaking good and so far ahead of my competition that I'm so smart I can take a bite out of my own business and then fix myself, okay? So before you post your ad, look at it and say, hey, do my pictures make me want to buy it? If the answer is no, don't post it. You're wasting your time. Do better pictures, okay, which I'm going to go over that with you. But secondly, you know what? If your ad isn't great, 
and it doesn't make you want to take action, it won't make the other person want to take action. Don't just do it to do it. Do it to become great. And when you learn how to make these great ads, all you need to do is one a day. That's it. That's why I said in the beginning, spend an, ad doing it, an hour doing it. Hey, if it takes you an hour, cool, man. Look, you guys all got an hour, okay? For one extra car deal, 20 days in a month, 20 car deals a month, you're selling 20 now, that's 20. All right, there's 40. Look, I'm just telling you, that's how scaling happens, okay? All right, so let's talk about the heading for just a second, okay? And by the way, when I talk about the heading, it means this. You see this right here? This is a Craigslist ad. You see this? This is what I refer to as the heading. Okay, the heading is the first thing you see when you see the ad. Okay, so this entire deal right here, it says 2012 Honda CRV EXL luxury SUV, leather, sunroof, crazy low miles. Okay, then you go into a price and then I got a payment over here. Okay, this is the description down here, but this is the heading. Okay, so with that being said, let me go back up here and make sure. That you guys understand this is how to write a good heading so the heading your heading gets roughly 70 letters okay that can be used use all 70 of them all right listen you have 70 letters across the top that you can use roughly by the way I put down here in the bottom use all cap locks I don't know I don't know it sounds like I'm yelling it just works I do it all the time man I'm telling you, no one can freaking test me and say, Andy, post this and, and this ad don't sell in a day or two. I do it every time you guys will do it. Just put cap locks. I've done it that way for, for 10, 12 years. Just do it. It works. All right. With that being said, I put make it enticing. Okay. Your heading has to be majorly enticing. Okay. So my example is, and I just put a fake example here. It says 2011 Honda CRV, EXL, all wheel drive. Notice all wheel drive EXL so it describes the year make model which I put down here year make model and then I put what makes it unique or rare here's what makes this car unique or rare it's an EXL it's an all-wheel drive it's leather sun and it has super low miles I had probably like two more spaces after that where I could have put like two more explanation points if I wanted but then I was out of room that ad right there, somebody's like, man, that's a nine-year-old car. It's got super low miles. By the way, on Craigslist, you don't have to put your miles on the ad, okay? On Facebook, you do. So the cool deal about Craigslist is that on Craigslist, I can put super low miles. And you know what? It could have 110,000 miles. Seriously. But you know what? When a guy calls me, he's like, hey, man, I was going to see how many miles on the Honda CRV. I'm like, yeah, it's a 2011, right? It's 2020. That's nine years. Nine years divided by 106. Man, this car's got 14,000 14, miles a year on it. 12,000 miles a year. The average consumer drives 20. This car has been driven six to 7,000 miles less than the average person. This is amazing. This car's got super low miles. Boom. I can use perception to sell that guy on the phone, but when you have to put your miles on the ad, it, it, it could turn someone off because everybody has their different perception of what low miles mean. Okay. So unless the miles are really low and it's beneficial, don't put them on the ad. Okay. Anyways, make an enticing heading. Okay, location box. I want to talk about location box because people don't do what I what I do on the location box. The location box put the payment on the car that you're using. And I want to tell you this. Like so, right now, mm -mm -mm, I want to show you guys this real quick. I have a I have an app that I use on my phone. And look, obviously you can't see that. Okay, yes, you can. You see this right here, that green money sign? It says Simple Payment Calculator. Okay? That app is really simple. I've used it for 12 years now. Okay? I type Simple Payment Calculator into the App Store. It pulls up. It's got a green money sign. Download that app. It's free. Guess what you do? You type in the amount. You type the term you want to do. Um, I don't figure any of my payments with taxes in it. I'll show you my disclaimer at the bottom here in a minute. And guess what I do? I'll show you how to figure different terms for different cars with different miles. But this one right here, I'm going to give you an example. I have a payment of $219 a month. I'm going to put that in the location box. Most people, if you're in Salt Lake City, Utah, you would put in the location box Salt Lake City. Okay? I don't do that. Look right here. See this? We see where it says 229 a month. That right there is fishing for people. 
people will grab that. And by the way, I'm not getting into it now, but down here at the bottom, you see this disclaimer, 60 months, 4.99% WAC, no TTNL included in price. I'm completely compliant with the Motor Vehicle Commission. And guess what? I'm also completely cool, like up front, if somebody calls me, I'm like, yeah, man, just scroll down to the bottom of the ad. You'll see how I figured it, the term you got. Now, look, you can finance it on a shorter term, longer term. You may qualify for a better rate. That was just a rate that I used to payment. You know what I'm saying? You may want to put your TT down there. Look, just whatever you want to do. It's all on you. I just want to give you an example of how I got to the payment. That's it. You see how cool that is? And that allows you guys to really like just, you know, like really fish for people because most stores – they carry about 80% finance penetration. And what that means is that eight out of 10 people in that dealership actually are financing with your dealership. So if that's the way it is, guess what, man? I mean, most people are concerned about payments. So when you're fishing out there for a payment, man, guess what? People will bite and then you can reel them in, okay? So that's my goal. People most of the times aren't writing checks for these cars. Some can, but mo most will make a payment. So guess what? I'm going to put a low payment out there and that will make them say, hey, you know what? This is pretty affordable. So location box, put the payment. I want you to do, look, dollar sign. Don't put 219 a month. Put a dollar sign, period, dot zero, zero, right? You know what I'm saying? A month, explanation point. Make it very clear that it's a payment. So that way it strikes them when they're looking at the end. By the way, you can see that right there, then that location box. From the beginning of Craigslist, when you're scrolling through all these ads, it stands out. So it's really cool. All right, let's move on to the next. Okay, so no decals of your dealership. All right, you guys know this. You've heard me say this forever. I'm just going to repeat it one more time. Um, your job is to bring business to you, not to your dealership. I, I, I want your dealership to sell a car, okay? That's not my point. But I don't want you to do a good job, put the work in, um, post the ad, and then they call your BDC or internet department they get the sell and you know what I'm saying like you know like you did all the work like that's not the point so um, I want to show you this picture here and I'll go back here just so you can see this look so look watch this no decals sticker right there's a little sticker here but look no decals let's move to this you see this back plate we took this back plate off right here carry screwdriver it takes two seconds man take the plate off okay you know why there's no sense in blacking it out. I, I see people, look, how long does it take to put a screwdriver in your pocket? It takes two seconds. Guess what? You black the plate out, and then people are like, think about this. Man, why is that guy blacking his plate out? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't give people re reason to be a skeptic. Just take the freaking plate off. It takes two seconds, okay? But if you look at the rest, you see those window stickers right here? I can't see that. Nobody can, Okay. And then guess what? Can't see it again here. Yeah, maybe you could kind of see that, but nobody can see that. It's too small, right? My point is there's no decals anywhere on this car. So as we go back to it, look, the paint, look, it's right here. No decals of the dealership. And then always make sure the payment disclosure is needed at the bottom of the ad, okay? And, and by the way, I'll move to that real quick just so you guys see it. Um, look, right here, you see down here at the very bottom, notice, and I'm going to show you how to do it. But you see where it says call Daniel. Here's his phone number. Set up time to see. Have a blessed day. Look, enter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boop. 60 months, 499 WAC, no TTL included in price. That's my disclosure. I'm cool. You guys put it there. You're gold forever, okay? You got to put the disclosure on there, okay? Just like advertising at a dealership, you got to explain to them if you have a payment on the ad, you got to put how you got there. And some of you guys, you're going to, don't go ask your GMs and your managers and everybody, hey, am I allowed to post on Craigslist? Can I do this? Guys, don't ask for permission to be great, okay? Just freaking do it. Crush it, and then everybody's going to be like, man, what are you doing? And say, man, I'm just working hard, and go back to what you're doing. Don't talk about what you do. Don't share your secrets with people. This is your time you're putting in with training. Yeah, I want you to share the whole world with me. But I'm telling you, I want you guys to reap it. You guys are the ones that are paying the rent, okay? Especially with like paid training and stuff like that. And look, hey, I could have done this stuff for free, but for 49 bucks, you know what? The fact is when you pay for it, you'll pay attention. Everything in life that I've had to pay for, guess what? I took really serious. And I want you guys to take this serious and I want you to kill it. And I got your back the whole way through. So payment disclosures needed at the bottom of the ad. Let's go right here. All right. Description. Cool. Here we go. Look on this ad. You see this right here? I want to show, I want to show you something. We're, we're going to scroll down this. Heading. Heading. Price. That's easy. It says price box on the back side. Okay. Look at this. 
This is the location box. There is a spot that says zip code. That's simple. There's no tricks with zip codes. You just put the zip code where you live. In it, okay. And that will show up on this ad right here. Okay. I don't put the exact address. I just put the location. I mean, I just put the zip code. All right. Go down here. You notice the way that this ad starts out. It starts out with what? It doesn't talk about this is a like new 2012 Honda CRV. It doesn't say that. You know what it says? It says right here, get payments as low as $2.29 a month with zero cash down. That's what it freaking says. So right as they go into reading the description, boom, I'm hitting them in the mouth again with the freaking payment again. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm telling these people like affordability, affordability, affordability. And what do people want to do? They want an affordable car. I don't care how consumed they are with the price of the car. Okay. I'm telling you, man, six, seven, eight out of 10 people will constantly keep biting on these payments. Okay. Now watch this. Okay. Obviously everything's WAC. It's with approved credit, which is what WAC stands for. Okay. You can qualify for that rate. I'm positive of it. And look, Let's just, let's just set up something on this payment right now. Look, it's 2020. Okay. If you were to finance a 15 and newer, you guys probably want to write this down. If you were to finance a 15 and newer, okay. With under a hundred thousand miles, your dealership could probably get 72 months on it. Okay. I'm just telling you all day long, maybe even a 2012 with like lower miles, you could still get 72 months. Okay. Everything else under that category, I would figure it on 60 months if it's like 2008 or newer. And then if it's older than 2008, just put it on 48 months and then that's how you're going to figure your payment. But look, if you got like an 18, a 19 or a 20 model, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe something in the last three, three years or something like that. Guys, you can put an 84 month term on here. There's credit unions that'll give you that 84 month term. So put it on there. 17 is a newer. Put it on there at 84 months. Hey, if they don't qualify for that credit union that offers that 84 months, that's fine, man. You guys, close them at 72. Who cares? My point is getting people interested in your ad and getting more people to bite on your ad and reach out to you. Okay? All right. So with that being said, um, this is the description right here. And I'm going to read this description, you guys, but I'm going to kind of go over it. I said, this is a light new 2012 Honda CRV EXL luxury SUV that just came in this morning and won't last. Okay. I'm putting scarcity in there already. Number one, it just came in this morning. Okay. When people see something they want, if it says it just came in, they're like, damn it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like that may not last. It just came in. Well, guess what? Secondly, I go into the fact that saying, um, it was, uh, and, and I tell them it won't last. I said, this Honda CRV is the top of the line. So I'm telling you actually the, the model that this is and how nice it is. It's the EXL luxury edition and it's hard loaded with premium leather, sunroof, heated, heated seats, backup camera, dual climate control, all power options, keyless entry and alarm, traction control for all weather driving. Watch this. This is cool. This is a front wheel drive, right? Honda CRV, but it has traction control, right? So I say it has traction control for all weather driving because can't you drive this in all weather? Yeah. So dude, your word and your ad copy has to be lethal. Okay. I hear people say, well, we really wanted an all wheel drive, but I noticed on your ad that it said it had the traction control and man, you know, we just want to make sure that we're going to be safe out in the weather. Boom. Gotcha sucker. Guess what? And by the way, that's what traction control is for. It's a positive track. One wheel slips, the other wheel lock. It'll keep it from fish telling. It's made for bad weather driving. Okay. Guess what? You guys have to use your words. I would definitely take, and anybody that wants a copy of this app, let me know. I'll text it over to you. Copy and paste this sucker and freaking use it on your own and change out words here and there. But, but anyways, I'm going to keep moving. I want to tell you the power of what I'm doing is that I'm actually fishing for people. Okay. Like straight up, like I'm fishing for them. Okay. I don't know who you are out there. I just know you're on my ad. And guess what? I want to find one thing that resonates with you. And I want you to say, oh, wow, honey, look, this was traded in by an older couple. Isn't that what we kind of wanted? Something that's been taken care of? Oh, wow, honey, you know how you have like bad allergies, right? This car right here is a non-smoker car. And you know what? That's kind of like what we were wanting, a car that hadn't been smoked in, that was pre-owned. Man, this is the right car. You don't know what these people have going on in their head. Your job is, is they have a sentence going on in their head and you're trying to finish it with your ad. Okay. 
So notice that I carefully write this ad to try to target and fish for something that's in that individual. Okay. Premium wheels, uh, premium wheels with brand new tires. Okay. And tons more. This beautiful Honda has crazy low miles. Again, keeping them in suspense. Like how many low miles? I don't ever put it on the ad. Um, and the older couple, I identify now who owned it, right? Okay. Um, who traded it in, babied it every mile of its life. It's as nice as a new one on the showroom floor. It's also a non-smoker SUV, has been garage kept, and has a clean Carfax. Okay. Watch this. Also, this Honda gets 31 miles per gallon. Boom. Maybe they're looking for better gas mileage. Now I'm pegging that, okay? Just find the things that your car has. You notice, I, I talked about keyless entry, alarm, power windows locks. I mean, I talked about like all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? That like really like might find somebody. Do people are rolling around freaking old ass cars with crank windows. Man, power windows locks may be a big deal to them. Identify it, name it, okay? Just because you're used to it don't mean that, that, that they are. Okay. And then I put, um, don't miss this rare find. It's going to sell quick. Getting them, hitting them with one more. Don't miss this rare find. Like I'm calling it out that it's rare. And then I put, watch this. We have the best financing available in the country too. And give top dollar on trade-ins. Now they're like, well, honey, let's just see what they'll give us for our trade. Boom. Getting the phone call. Now they're like, well, you know, hey, and, and, and I may say this, if you guys deal in a subprime market, one of my favorite lines is we get nine out of 10 people approved right? So we got the best financing in the country. If you got great credit, we got you on the best rates in the world. And then if you have bad credit, we got you. I don't care who you are. Give me a call. Okay. Write that in there. Yes. Write it in there. And then after that, it says, call Daniel. I put the cell phone number. I put, I put call or text Daniel. And I can do that. And to set up a time to see, or you can put to get more information. However you want to do it is fine. And then underneath that, I put, have a, a very blessed day. Okay. Um, now, obviously I use the word bless. I believe in God, but I think people should just have a blessed day. I think they should have a good day and people don't care about how much, you know, until they know how much you care, show people you care and you're a little different. And guess what? Maybe they just might reach out. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, um, here you go, Sean, Can we grab that. Um, Hey, but check this out real quick. So we're, we're moving on to the next one. Let's go on to another slide here. Let's keep moving. Okay. So description, tell a story, tell a story. Hey, everybody loves a story. Tell a story about how your vehicle is perfect for them. Okay. Make it freaking perfect. All right. List every awesome benefit about your car in the story. Okay. Every benefit that you could find about this car that may be unique or something to somebody, write that in that story. And then watch this. You never know what will grab them. So don't discount something because it doesn't grab you. It could grab somebody else. Listen, I'm going to tell you, I have people all the time that go in and buy cars, especially when, when I sold that had allergies. They'd get in a car and they say, ah, somebody smoked in this. And they went out. Look, look if a car had been smoked in, boom, list it. You guys won't understand it. You know, and, and, and by the way, this is the way that phone calls used to come out. Hey, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So Andy, how you doing? Listen, so I was calling about that, that truck that that retired firefighter traded in. Boom, sucker, got you. They would identify what car it was and the person who owned it. And you know what I know? If I would have said, hey, this is a nice truck. It's got this kind of equipment. Call me. I, they, the guy wouldn't have called me. But guess what? I put this is a truck that just came in. It was traded in by a retired firefighter. You know, he took really good care of it. He's never worked out. It's never been off road. Guess what happens, man? That guy's like, man, you know, you know, my dad was a retired firefighter. And guess what? When you talked about that truck and took care of it, I know who that, I, I know what kind of guy that was. You know, people, they resonate with people. Can I ask you a question? You, you, and some of you guys may think I'm crazy right now. And by the way, I am a little bit crazy, but I will tell you this. I'm crazy about breaking records and about teaching you how to make a whole bunch of money. If I right now had a car for sale, let's just test yourself real quick. Okay. This is one of my favorite games. I love doing stuff like this because it, it kind of brings you back into the equation. If if I had a car and it was for sale and it said this car was owned by a young college kid. Okay. And then there was another ad set next to it and it said it was owned by a retired military man. Which car would you call on first? The kid that was the one that was owned by the kid going through college or the one that was owned by the older retired military man. You don't have to tell me because I already know. Okay. My point is stories matter, 
tell the freaking story. When you do, you're doing what your competition don't do and you're doing what your dealership don't do. And this is the unfair advantage, okay? Um, okay, so let's go down here. All right, so I'm gonna list out some things that I want you to think about while you're writing your ad, just in case you forget, okay? So number one, gas mileage. Number two, warranty. I'm just gonna make a point. If your car has a warranty and it has warranty left, you could say, hey, this car has, you know, let's say it's got 6,000 miles. You could say, hey, this car has a full five-year, 100,000-mile warranty remaining, and it only has 6,000 miles. It's only got one oil change on it. Like, save $10,000, and you got one oil change. Like, this is a no-brainer. Or it could, say, it could say, like, maybe this car has a powertrain warranty on it, and it doesn't have bumper-to-bumper -bumper left, right? So the bumper-to-bumper -bumper is, so, so the bumper-to-bumper -bumper is, like, expired on it. But the powertrain has like 6,000 miles of warranty left. So you could put, right, this car is still remaining under full factory warranty, which you will get when you purchase. You see, that kind of makes it sound really neat. So gas mileage, warranty, miles on the car if it's low, okay? If the car has low miles, put it on that. If it doesn't have low miles, don't do it, okay? The equipment on the car that it's loaded with, which I just talked about, if it's a non-smoker, ride it. One owner, ride it. New tires, ride it, okay? Old man owned, right? Own man owned, put that on it. Retired military person, right? Those are just some things. And then I put here, look, this just got traded in this morning. I'm still going through description here, guys. This one just got traded in this morning. People love to find things that just became available. You know, people sometimes are more motivated from what they could lose more than what they will gain, okay? And that's why I like to write scarcity in ads, okay? So this just got traded in this morning. Watch this. This car was, and this is a good one. You could say this on any car. This car was maintained every 3,000 miles and since it was brand new, right? And guess what? You guys could look at your car facts, right? And you see where it says service records. Right now, pick any car out on your website. If you got car facts, it says service records, okay? Now, does that mean service records like in the glove box service records? No, it means Carfax has service records on it. Guess what you can put? This is so easy. You put, hey, we have all the service records on this vehicle and it's been serviced every 3,000 miles since it was brand new. Oh, man, guys, like all the records, what? Guess what? It's on the Carfax. You don't have them in the glove box. You don't need them. It's easy to say, yeah, we have the service records. They're right there on the Carfax for you, okay? You see how you have like all this stuff right in front of your face, but a lot of people miss it and they don't see it. And I want you guys to see that, okay? Cool, four wheel drive has never been off road. Notice, I'm not gonna say, hey, this is a nine. Dude, don't make this mistake. I see this all the time, man. People say, oh, this is the baddest four wheel drive. Get ready to go down in the river and go mud. Nobody's calling on your ad, dude. You're gonna get 16 year olds that wanna freaking come test drive your truck. Don't do it. People that can actually afford to buy that truck are not wanting that, okay? I use words like on a four-wheel drive, like, hey, this four-wheel drive has never been worked out of a day in its life. It's never been off the pavement. Matter of fact, the guy that owned it called it the pavement princess. <laughs> Dude, this guy bought this truck to never take it off the road, and he did it. It's the only four-wheel drive in America this has probably been done with. And guess what? People are like, what? Where is this truck? Man. And you're sitting there thinking, man, dude, Andy, you're crazy. No, no, I crush everybody. I'm teaching how to write ad copy, okay? For freaking, this is, you can take this to Facebook, you can take this. You can take this anywhere, okay? Facebook's a little bit different than Craigslist. This is how to dominate Craigslist, okay? Uh, so anyways, never been worked out of. I think that's important, especially when you're selling pickup trucks. You gotta name that, okay? Especially posting diesels. That's that's very important, right? Anything to fish. I call this fishing. You are fishing and throwing your lines out in the water during your description. Your description is not to put something in the description box so you can just get the ad posted, okay? The description box is so you can actually imagine this. You're fishing in a pond and you're casting a, a pole out into the water. You have one pole in a whole lake good freaking luck okay me i'm sitting there and i'm like bro i'm about to unload the truck with 50 fishing poles and i'm gonna lay those poles out all in the water and i'm gonna be reeling them in left and right 
that description box should have you fishing for people just like we're talking about right now. And nobody teaches anybody to do this. Hey, baby doll. Okay. Yeah, my daughter. I love you, sweetie. Okay. So under the description, this is important. Okay. Put call or text, right? Okay. Put your name. And then I want you to put your cell phone number. Don't, this isn't Facebook. You don't have to spell out silly digits. And people are like, I don't want to put my number because people are going to scam me. What are you talking about, man? Nobody's going to scam me. They can't scam me with your phone number. You know what I'm saying? Put your phone number on there. Be a real human being person. Spell it out, 918-210-0254. Okay, that's my cell phone number. But guess what? To set up time to, uh, to, to see or to get more information, just, just like I wrote on the ad, I have a blessed day. Okay? Now, let's move on to the next one. I was going to show you, like, make sure you put your phone number there. It will ask at the bottom again, which, matter of fact, I probably need to get into this and go into the back side for a second to show you this. But look, here's an example of the payment disclosure, okay? 84 months slash 3.99% WAC. That needs to have a dot, dot, dot. That stands for WAC, no TTNL included. Guys, put no TTNL included, okay? It's important. The reason why you put no TTNL included, because some of you guys have to pay TTNL up front, some of you don't. Listen, your internet department doesn't advertise prices with the freaking uh, TTN hour on there, okay? That's an add-on. So don't get caught up in that. Just so you're confused, like, just put, no TTN included, okay? That means you can't include it, just means that this price doesn't include it. It's real simple. And by the way, my entire ad is all cap blocks, and then I put this in lowercase at the bottom so it doesn't stand out. All right, I put, put this payment disclosure five to eight lines under your name and phone number, which is this, okay? Like space bar, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boop, payment disclosure. Okay. All right, check this out. Make sure you put your best picture first, also in a nice order. Okay, let's go to this ad here. Well, look, you see right here, you see this, this first one, it says image one of 11. This is my featured picture. Your featured picture is going to be the only picture that somebody sees when they see your ad first. Imagine how silly this would look. This is the feature picture. Yeah, the back seat. I see it all the time and people don't pay attention to it. So once you upload your pictures, okay, and you can, you can hold your thumbnail down or drag them and you can just rearrange them. And I kind of start by going around the car. Like, look, there's four pictures of the exterior. One, two, three, four. All great, nice pictures. Guys, look behind it trees see that you know what i'm saying nothing crazy ain't a million dollar home i know i tell you guys go put in front of million dollar homes maybe you don't have one it's just sitting in front of some trees and stuff like that okay but it's nice cropped out look if you got an iphone i have an iphone okay i just go hit the edit button and i like to put a lot of this like yellow copy on there i feel like it really makes it stand out i put and they kind of like just like subconsciously like tells them in their brain excl hard loaded right leather sunroof brand new tires like i'm popping it out they didn't even have to find in the ad that it has new tires on it like i got it on the picture okay and then um this one i didn't put one on there but i could and then you know this one right here is just a nice front picture this one right here says immaculate interior i'm just like telling them like hey this interior is really clean that subconsciously is like going in their head um i got a nice picture of the sunroof nice sky up above you know look remember nice pictures nice and clean okay there were some dirty pictures on this car we didn't take them okay it's got the backup camera, right? Because obviously that's an important feature to a lot of people. And then I put here a little picture of the heated seats. And by the way, I never take pictures of carpet, ever, okay? You see this right here? You see how the seats are cut off on the bottom so you can't see the edge of that seat? Guys, don't take a picture of the edge of that seat. If you do, a lot of times you have wear and tear on the corner of that seat where people slide in and out. If you show that picture, people aren't gonna call in your app, okay? I'd rather you overcome it when you see them don't take that picture, okay? And by the way, I beamed every one of these pictures. I mean, look at that. This, this is uh, 2012. This is a really old CRV. It's eight years old. But that interior looks brand new. Guess what? I just went to my filters, hit beam, boop, nice and pretty. Just cleans it up, okay? So anyways, going to this, you see this tire tread shot? I, I never take pictures of tread. But if you have nice, clean tires, you can find a nice picture, and it shows the tread. 
notice it doesn't show a bunch of junk around it. I cropped out all the rest of the wheel well around here and I just kept the tread here, okay? But this right here, the reason why I showed this one is because it shows the heated seats. See that right there, heated seats? You guys see these carpets right here? This is a big no-no unless you have nice carpet, which is very rare on used cars. But I wasn't afraid to put this picture in there, right? Because it actually had um, the, uh, um, it, well, I want to show the heated seats, but it actually had like the nice plastic on the floor and it looked clean. You know what I'm saying? So like, just know that 90% of the time, you don't want a picture of the carpet at all on your ad. Okay. Um, anyways, so with that being said, here, here's what I want to do real quick. And I want to kind of, um, let's just go into, so jumping into this real quick. Let, let's go into Craigslist real fast. Look, you go into your account and mm -hmm, log out. Let's just, guys, we got millions of Craigslist accounts here. Let's go down to the Elliott group. Okay. Let me just show you this real quick. This is the car I posted. If you want to post a car, you see right here, you go into your account, watch it, see this, click on my account, go over here, see where it says go, enter the area you want to post in, okay? Find it, you can Google, say, hey, what areas are in Oregon? And it'll tell you what area, find the closest one to you, hit go. When you hit go, go right down here for sell by dealer, go right here for sell by, by dealer, cars and trucks by dealer, okay? Watch this, posting title, that's your description, price that's price of the car city and neighborhood that's the location we talked about that's where your payment's going to go postal code right here some your zip code nothing fancy there so this is zip code description this is everything we've talked about that we just went over in the description box once you go down here and it talks about posting details posting details are pretty simple okay you only have to fill out the green you don't have to fill out everything else so you see where it says vin number here you don't have to put the vin number in okay don't put the VIN number in. If you do, they'll reverse look up your VIN number and then they're going to find you. Don't do it. Ain't worth it, man. I'm just telling you, they'll reverse look you. If I, hit, I type it in Google, I know exactly where you are. I'll call your dealership. People are smart like that. It's 2020. It's all about speed. Okay? You see miles? It's optional. Okay? Put them in there. Don't put them in there. It's up to you. But make and model, you do have to put them in there. I do cap locks. So if I'm doing Honda, right? See that? I would do like Honda, you know, Civic. You see how it's got all these different options. You know, I, I can type in whatever I want, but that'd be make and model. Look, language, you can go Spanish, English. I always keep it in English. Condition, look, everything that I usually post, if it's really nice, I'll put like new, okay? I'll put excellent, put excellent right there. Boom, excellent. But don't ever put good, fair, or, or anything like that, okay? Um, anyways, moving out of that, um, you have drive. Four-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive. You don't have to put that in there. But if it is a four-wheel drive, type it in there. Because people, they have searches set up on Craigslist to find four-wheel drives. And if you put front-wheel drive, they might not call you. But if it is four-wheel drive, put it in there, okay? Remember, the green. Fuel is real simple. Gas, diesel, hybrid. You know what I'm saying? Paint, don't put it in there. Size, don't put it in there. Title status means this. It's a clean title every time. Um, it could have a lean or still savage, all that. Dude, unless, unless you're selling a savage title car, it's real easy. It's either clean or it's salvage. Those are the only two things, okay? All right, transmission, real easy. Manual, automatic, pretty simple. Year, it's going to be the year of the car. Now look up here. You see where it says delivery available? If you offer delivery in your store, click that delivery available, and people will actually call and say, hey, I saw that you have delivery available. Okay, include more ads by this user means this. When someone clicks on your ad, okay, and they're looking at it, there's a button that says, see more ads by this person, okay? So if they like that car, they're like, well, this guy must got good inventory, so we want to see more of his ads. They'll click on it, and they'll be able to see all the cars that you had posted on Craigslist. It's a really neat tool. So I would recommend clicking that box and click delivery available. There's no sense in not doing it. That curl, crimson C crap at the top, don't click that box. Okay, this right here, you see over here and there it says contact info, right? Check this out. Craigslist, right? Mail relay recommended. Don't click, you have, look at, it's already set to click on that. I want you to click no replies to this email. We want them to call, we want them to text, that's it. You go put email crap in there, you're gonna get spam, 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 scam, junk. And your real buyers are going to email you because they can see it. Okay? Not text message, phone calls. 
So no replies to this email. You have to click these three boxes right here. Show my phone number, phone number, text. You see that? Click, click, click. Click all three top boxes. It's real easy. Enter your phone number again. Enter your name. When you're done, you see it says location information. Don't click on that. You don't need to. Just hit show or hit continue, and then it'll go through. Now watch. I want to show you something because obviously um, I skipped through this. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to edit this ad. Okay? Um, so that way you guys can see. Um, let's see. Let's go to edit. So I, I want to go back into edit post. Okay, so this is the back side of my ad. Notice I don't have any of this middle stuff filled in. Notice I told you I got these two done. No replies to this email. I got his phone number in here. I'm hit continue. And guess what? I'm going to go to edit images. You see images right here? Look at this. You see this? You can move these around. Like it doesn't matter. Okay? So my deal is, is that you see where it says, and you can't really see this, but it says featured image. Okay? Let's see. You see right there, featured image. Your best picture has to go right there. So I would put these in order. Exterior, 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 exterior interior best pictures and then kind of make all the pictures kind of flow together okay and remember what i said you can hold up the 24 but one bad picture you're screwed so if you're posting like an ltz you know bad boy suburban and it's got like options on top of options all right cool but if you're posting like a chevy malibu that's like a 2013 with 70,000 miles it's on sale for 6900 bucks like guys look like like three pictures of the interior two of the you know three pictures pictures of the exterior two of the interior and you know, maybe another one if you want, but just make sure they're perfect. Beam the pictures on your phone before you upload them. Really take your time. Um, sometimes you get high, sometimes you get low, okay, on pictures. And, and, I, and I, wanna, I wanna show you, there's, there's some ways that you can, um, my bad, that, that you can take pictures. Like this is high, obviously you guys see this. This is a high picture. You see how I can see the top of the car here, right? This one is shot. A little bit higher but not as high as that one and then this one right here shot dead on you could get down lower look see this one low he actually got down low and took a lower picture so I took a picture I, I we used that one but I want to tell you this sometimes you can take your camera pull it up a little bit put it straight down or pull it down low and that will give you different pictures and every car looks great from different pictures every car is different so with that being said um, that's it you hit publish it goes through, it costs five bucks, you're done. You put your card information in and you kick butt. But here's what I would like everybody to do here, okay? Guys, so so number one, it's 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 1037 and let me let me just pull this up here real quick. I'm gonna pull this down. Um cool. You guys all have different stores. Some of you guys are independent, some of you guys are franchises, everybody here can sell pre-owned cars. If you work in a new car store. I don't post new cars on Craigslist, okay? I'm not telling you that a new car can't sell on Craigslist, but if you're investing $1, one cent, or a million dollars, I don't care. I'd like for you to put your money best where the investments work the best. You're the investment. You understand now how to post a car on Craigslist and kill it. This is what I would like everybody to do. And this is how it, it works really simple. Um, is You see, that, see this phone number right here, 918-210-0254, okay? Uh, you sh shoot me a text message, okay? And say, Andy, send me this slide. I'll copy and paste it, boom, I'll send it to you on your phone so you have it. This is also being recorded. When we hang up, we're going to send you the recording of the Zoom meeting so you can go back and watch it again. But what I would like you to do is text me your email or email Sean at the Elliott Group, okay? Now, dot com, or at gmail.com, Sean at the Elliott Group, now, dot com. My bad, there's no Gmail on there. <laughs> Dude, I told you I'm like a dinosaur, man. But you know what? Selling cars and closing deals is what we do, man. I'm not an IT guy. You guys probably are an IT guys. I don't want to be an IT guy, but I want to be a deadly marketer, right? Hey, marketing, I'm not a marketing guy. But you know what? Bullshit, I am a marketing guy, okay? I have to be, okay? I don't like making videos. Do whatever. Now I have to make videos. Now I make videos over trading all the freaking time, but I'm not a video guy. It's not my style. I just had to get um, up to that point where I got to start doing the stuff that I don't like to do, and I got to get freaking good at it, okay? Face-to-face -face selling is my favorite thing, okay? And I just want to tell you guys that, look, man, I want to teach you how to, how to shut down any deal, how to close every deal for all the money. 
I, I want to train you on everything that I know in person, um, you know, like through a master closer seminar. But I really want you guys to be able to sit in your dealership and watch as people sit out front and desperately wait for the next customer to come in and say, God, it's slow. And you say, man, you know what? Andy told me how to freaking post. Let me just post one car a day. All right. Bring your freaking lunch. Spend five bucks. Okay. Do me a favor. Go find. So if you work in a new car store, what I do is that I literally hover around those new car trades all the time. Here's what I know. I know that people that take really good care of their cars, most people, they want to buy new cars. Okay. Go down to a pre-owned car lot. A lot of times you got a lot of shit trades. Okay. And I'm not saying that you're all shit. I'm just saying you get a lot of them. new car trades, take the best trades. So every day, every in the middle of the day, in the morning, in the night, I'm constantly checking that trade in row and watching the cars that come in so I can do what? I can cherry pick it, okay? And what I want to do is I want to get the keys to that car, take it, and post it. And by the way, don't go to your used car manager and say, hey, boss, I want to go post this car on Craigslist. Say, oh, it ain't funded yet. You can't post it. No, listen, say, hey, man, I got a guy who's really interested in a car like that back out there. Would you mind if I got the keys so I can get him the exact miles and stuff so you know I could see if he was interested? Just lay under the radar, guys. Don't tell everybody your plans, man. Go get the car. Go photo it real quick. Boom, put this sucker online. Next thing you know, you've got a customer sitting there waiting, and you say, my gosh, this is great. I'm not asking you to go post your whole inventory because your whole inventory won't work great on Craigslist. It didn't work great for me, but I started to learn what the best pieces were. So what I want you guys to do is start cherry picking the fresh trades that come in. Okay. We're not, obviously I can't see your car a lot and what you don't have. I can only see what's on your inventory. So I want everybody to email me at Sean at the Elliott group now.com or shoot me a text message at the 918. And it's real simple, you know, like D Dylan Hartwell. He's he say, Hey Andy, here's my website. Pick me out a car. Boom. I'm going to pick it. I'm going to send it back to him. I'm going to say, Dylan, post that one. When you're done posting it, send me back your ad so I can check it out. And if I see anything wrong with it, I'll let you know. That way we know we got a great ad out and it will work. But by the way, I don't want to tell you guys what to write during your description, your ad. I want you guys to do it. Okay. It would be easy for me to go. And by the way, and I will, I don't have a problem with it, but I want you to level up. Okay. Level up with me here. Okay. I want, I can go catch you a fish. All right. There was this guy when I was younger. Every time we went fishing, he'd catch a whole bunch of fish, man. And then you know what? Every time I went out there on my own, I didn't bring him with me. I didn't catch nothing. And I thought, gosh, dang, man. Like, that guy's just so much better than me. What I learned is I never paid attention to him when he fished. I never watched what he did. So one day, I started really paying attention to, like, what time of the day he would tell me to go out there. Because I was a dummy. I'd go out there in the middle of the day, which means, like you, you might be posting the wrong cars. I was out there at the wrong time of day. He was telling me how to watch the moon. He was telling me what bait to use, when to use it. And literally, I started listening and learning from this guy. Within two or three months, I could go out there and I could bring home 20, 25 big old catfish, man, and come home and just flay them all up. You know, I catch, go catch big striper and I could do it on my own. And it felt so good once I could really do it. But not until I was ready to really learn did I learn how to start doing it, okay? So what I would like everybody to do is learn how to do it, okay? I'm going to be here with you the whole way. You guys know I got your back for life. Somebody talks crap on you, I'm coming to whip their ass. That's the bottom line is, man. I'm just telling you. Like, I'm the Goliath of selling, I promise you. Like I said, and, and I'm not saying I'm the best guy in the world, but here's the deal. I'm a really damn good teacher, and I, I paid the rent in advance. I did it on my own. You know what I'm saying? I made two, two and a half mil as being a GM. 700 grand selling cars. I was broke with nothing. Dude, there's no difference between me and you. I, no matter where you're at, I want to elevate your game. Okay. I'm in it for the long tail game. I got your back for life. I want to see you guys crush it. So this is just something fun that we're going to play with. I want it to be fun and I want you to learn how to get deadly at it, but don't tell people what you're doing. Keep it between us. If you get stuck on something, there's no stupid questions with me. If you don't understand how to do something, you send me a text below. I'll help you through it. Um, email me, write your website. I'm going to pick out a car and send it back to you. Once you post the ad, send me back the ad and guess what? This will hopefully be the start of an awesome relationship. And I want you to do this. A lot of you guys I know, a lot of you guys I don't. But remember this. If you go to the Elliott Group now, if you could just go right now, go to the ElliottGroupNow.com, okay? If maybe in this next week or something, you want to set up a strategy call and kick ass and set something up, 
just click right here on the schedule for a free 20 minute deal, man. We'll set it up, man. We'll see what's going on. I'll try to help you get to the next level. Like I said, I love you guys. I appreciate you. I'll send you this video. You guys shoot me your website. Guys, have a great night and, uh, and I'll talk to you soon. You guys get to bed. I appreciate you. Thank you very much.